Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It is I, another fun Tuesday of streaming. Welcome. <laughs> Peg, did you sign up for the Enamel Art Jam yet? I think you did. Did you? Hopefully. Excellent. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Yes. Well, today is just going to be kind of a shorter day. I'm going to be streaming just about two hours, and we are going to kind of just continue what we are working with, but I have one little pendant I need to kind of squeeze in as well. So, oh, my glasses are filthy. And, yeah, so that is what we're going to be doing. So we'll start by showing you the earrings that I finished up over the weekend that we worked on last Friday. They are finished and they're not in my Etsy store yet, but I'm gonna do that this afternoon. Hopefully, maybe, we'll see. So let us go. Oh good, Peg, yeah, and I'm gonna be, I was just literally working on the list of theme, theme words and um, I'm getting excited and I'm like, oh, which one do I want my? And a lot of them are, you know, unicorn there's not a unicorn. well then maybe there's a unicorn but um we'll see they do tend to kind of run i was trying to be more like arty and poetic with them but uh, i just am really i like i like the rainbow words so it might just be that again so you know it's my party i get to make the rules so yes and there will be a q and a about the Enamel Art Jam next Friday. So uh, I think it's like March 3rd, 4th or whatever, I'll, I'll post it up if anyone wants to come and ask a question about what it is, they can come here and I will open up the text to non-subscribers for that one episode. So that that is all. Let us get started. All right, going over to the workbench cam. Oh, sorry. There's my to-do list for the day. It is, I sh whatever. Get that out of the way. We'll start. Let me get a little piece of paper. I don't think we need the microscope camera right this second. So, and I don't think we actually, because we're gonna do a couple things first so let's oh my favorite pair of earrings that I finished and I am in love with this color combo are these purple ones let me show you these purple earrings oops as I drop them that I don't know if the color can show up but the real look at that pretty that's that vivid 112 coral that little dot of red in the middle I just, I like these earrings a lot, how the orange and the purple kind of really pop. So these will be, oh, I should put my Etsy store up. Hold on. Forget about, we'll talk, forget the enamel art jam. Let's do the Etsy store. There we go. Good morning, Angie, and good morning, Margaret. And thank you for your subscription. Yay, yay. We'll talk about... Uh, anyway, I'm just doing a little quick show and tell of all the things that I finished over the weekend. And of the things that I finished, these earrings are my absolute favorite. And I'm definitely going to do more in this kind of orange and purple color scheme. So these will be hitting my Etsy store this afternoon. Right now, I don't have any more amethyst drops. So these, when these are gone, they might be gone until I order some more of those. So those were really pretty. Oh, and then these yellow and green earrings are very, very spring-like. I love how these came out. The vivid shades of orange, not orange, sorry, yellow, kind of daffodil yellow. Very pretty. I think these are very spring-like. I was just admiring the miniature daffodils that have sprung up in my yard this morning, and they are this color. So those came out good. Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, these came out sweet as well. Can't say no to these little trefoils. These are real pretty too. I just like how the green really kind of pops on the inside there, like that. 
nice. So those are real pretty as well. We've got those. And then what else did I finish? Oh, oh yeah, these little guys are sweet. These little sweet little post style earrings. Those are pretty too. So yes, hopefully we'll get some of these on my Etsy store this afternoon. So yeah, and as pricing out, these are really pretty. These. God, everything is just getting so expensive these days. Um, these amethyst and aquamarine drops, I didn't realize how expensive they are. I'm like, ugh, oh, so expensive, but beautiful. I would never use anything but a real gemstone, but it definitely should have stocked up when they were cheap, when they were cheap. And I cannot, for the life of me, find any top drilled, um, What's the green one? Peridot. I love Peridot. And I can't find any high quality uh, Peridot that are top drilled. So I did go ahead and order just a few side drilled. Mm, we'll see if we like them. But that I think is all the excitement. Actually, I kind of like how this one would match. Uh, sorry, I got the whole box. I got the box of jewelry next to me. I feel like I'm on that show. What is that? TV show where they just sell things like, oh, let's call in now and buy this. But I think that the color combos of these two things are, I just am really enamored of just kind of this really pretty minty green with the, the aqua blue, the turquoise is a, just a nice color combo. So there you go. We'll put those away but those are indeed going to be on my Etsy store later. And that, but yeah, mm. just the color of this orange. Very pretty, very pretty. Yeah, I'm patting myself on the back. Oh, Sandra, you did such a good job, good job. So I'm gonna put those, that tray of jewelry away and we shall get started on whatever it is we're doing today. Now, before we actually get too far along, oh, I do wanna, I'll pull actually what we're gonna work on. We're going to continue with, we're gonna get that second coat on the, let's see what's on the tray of, to do the tray of to-do lists. Remember this guy. This is what we're gonna hopefully get the second coat on. Let's see if I've got him. So remember this guy. We're gonna get a second coat of color on this guy. And we're not gonna get started on this one, sorry. Uh, I've got this pendant that I want to get going in all shades of uh, the blue and the green. So this is gonna be kind of a springtime pendant as well so that we will be doing and in that vein i've got all i didn't i'm so lazy about lids these days i just covered it with a piece of paper we've got most of the colors ready to go oh sorry let me take down the etsy shop go to the etsy shop and while i'm doing the other thing don't forget if if you haven't signed up to do enamel art jam. It's on, it is on, and I expect to see all of you signed up and participating in the fun that is the enamel art jam. So that is what is actually going to be happening very soon. Soon, but not right this second, because we have one little task we need to do before we get started and remember I was looking for that N42. Ah, I had to go home and get, this is what a kilo of enamel color looks like. It's actually kind of heavy. And um, God, I always, you know, I'm like, it's a lot of enamel. This is <laughs> probably more than I will use in my life. I don't know, I like this color, we'll see. Uh, but I always am a little like, when I'm cracking into one of these, it means I, this is, the last bag I have of it. And um, man, this is a beautiful, and I just love, I don't know what this stuff says, probably, it probably says enamel on it. 
And so we're going to crack this, this open and I'm going to sift some of it and I'm going to put the rest of it in a jar and then put the sifted stuff in here because it's just kind of what <laughs> I know. And you know, back in the day, this stuff wasn't all that expensive, but uh, especially like the greens, but this is a good color. I got a ton of this at home, not this color, but these bags because I'm a, an enamel hoarder. And um, I just, I'm already nostalgic about these bags. So that's what we're gonna do, but we're not nostalgic enough that we're not gonna crack it open and divvy it up. So first off, I'm going to, I've got my sifter and I am gonna lift up a little bit just so I have a little bit of room. Is that good? I have here, and you do not, let me just say, sifting your enamels is optional. I like to do it because it allows me to save everything. There's no waste because I'll be using what I'm using, and then I, the siftings, I'm gonna, I set aside for when I do my second career as an enamel painting artist. I will then crack all these things open that I've been saving and turn them into enamel paints. So that's, and I do like to sift, especially colors I use a lot of just because it makes it easier to wash them. So again, I've got a 200 mesh sifter and two little empty clean containers. And I'm gonna do two things. I'm going to put on, oh, I need to turn off my fan. I forgot I'd turn the fan on since it was a little hot. I don't want the dust to be all whatever. So I'm gonna do that first. Let me turn off the ceiling fan so it's not blowing all over. I've got this respirator and I've got some gloves as well. So I'm gonna do the fan first. All righty. should do it you know I've never run into a ceiling you know how like the ceiling fans have two little like one little thing to to turn on the light and one thing to turn on the fan and they always have like a little picture of the fan or the light I've never run across one where they're not backwards in my entire life just a fun fact so I oh, probably want some scissors I'm gonna put this on because this is very dusty, dusty. So I'm gonna crack this open, my glasses. And I'm also gonna put gloves on just because just a little, you know, your skin. There we go, beautiful. So I've got those and I'm gonna get, hold on, is this a label? Yeah, the, sorry. Oh, these are labels. These are way too expensive to use as, let me get some plain. I was printing out shipping labels earlier. So, and I only have like two, they're like a dollar each. I'm just going on about how much things cost these days. There we go. A little bit of clean paper is a better option. I'm going to N42. Grass. Green. Nino Mia. Obviously. N42. Grass. Green, let's probably hope, hmm. Will that fit in there? We'll see. And 42, Nino Mia. This will be the sifted. There we go. Hey, Easel Cat. Look, I'm being safe. I'm wearing gloves too. So we're going to do it. It's like an unboxing, but with enamels. So it is really, you know, 
when you got a box of these things, they get heavy. So we're going to start by cutting it open because we're not keeping it. I don't like to keep it in this bag. Oh, look, there's like, I bet this says, what does that say in Japanese? It probably says cut here, cut along the dotted line right there, which I am not going to do. I'm going to cut below it just to take that off. There we go. Beautiful. And I'm going to start by putting a bunch in here. I'm going to try to minimize the dust by, let's see if I can just I can see the dust in the air. I'm gonna let that set for a moment. Oops, as I've spilled it everywhere. Good. I do this every time. Hence, I thought it'd be better, easier to look at it like this. Yes, I've made a mess. All right, that's a good start. Now we're going to probably take this back home. It'll live at home. And get it on nice. There we go. A nice jar of that. And I've got some of this too. That's why I'd, I'll take this and put it into the sifter directly. And I guess we'll just sift the rest of it. Whatever didn't fit, it might be a lot, but you know what? We mine as well. Sift all of it. Yeah, that's, I don't, you know, I wouldn't do this at home. If you've got pets and stuff, you know, you could actually, what I do when I'm doing a lot, I actually get my photography cube out and obviously I, I clean it afterwards and I just do it inside the photography cube so it contains the dust a little bit better, so. But we're gonna get started and you know, we're not gonna do all at the same time. We're gonna do it in three separate batches. It's just a little bit easier. It's very exciting. Oh, I do need to get a jar to put the vines into, or a baggie, I don't know. We'll see. That's good. And I'm gonna start. You can see, look at all of that. It's a lot. But that's why I sift, so I can save all of that. And I'm gonna go ahead and Do that. I am going to go ahead and make a pile. We'll deal with this in a moment. Just going to set that just off camera there and we'll continue along. Oh, this is a 200 mesh sifter. 200. I'm gonna do it in, yeah, that should be enough. If you don't have to do too much, it's just, it gets a bit stodgy. Good. Take that. 
too. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this over here. We'll deal with that in a moment. We'll do one more, I think one more little batch. Last little bit. Oh, this is a big, a big batch. Oh, that'll be fine. Put, say goodbye to our pretty bag, our kilo. But now I know what they mean when people are caught with like a kilo of illicit goods. I know exactly what, I know exactly what it is. I have a sense of that. I'm going to do this one a little longer since there's a little bit more material in here. That should be good. There we go. Hopefully, will this fit in here? Do I should I have gotten a bigger one? I'm having some thoughts. We'll see. Well, maybe it's close. Oh, oh. It is a very full container. Beautiful. So we've got our sifted. Not super sifted, but enough that it's going to get get me started. This is going to go live at home with the rest of my hoard. And now I have to deal with two things. First, the the fines, these little guys that are very, very fine. Um, you could use this for a myriad of things, for a delicate shading. You can sift it again with the 325 and keep the extra, extra fines and use that to create some painting enamels. You can use it for counter enamel. I'm just going to put it in a jar, label it fines, and deal with it on another day. But I do want to get another jar to put it in. Keep them separate, you think? Um, I'm going to use the smallest jar I can get away with. I'm like, eh, yeah, I bet I could do that. So we'll just save this. I'm going to mark it, what it is, Nino Mia, So there we go, we have no waste, well very, very little waste. And then the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of those. I'm just going to step over and wash these out in the sink real fast, it's not that exciting. Deal 
later. And then get some paper towels. And because you saw all that dust, I'm going to wipe down my whole area. with a wet paper towel. I know the excitement, the, it's just never ending drama here in the studio. So we're just gonna wipe this down. I like that this is two-sided. Not that. And I, you wipe, I wipe down far, you know, that dust travels, see? Look at all that dust so and like I say when you're doing a lot um, if you do it inside like a contained box you stick your hands in that's actually probably a little bit more ideal but this will be just fine and I feel like everything is good now and I'm going to take that off we are ready to do whew, some enameling I am anyway. So we've got we've got our grass green. I'm just gonna go put these in the other cabinet. Or they can just live right there. And you know what? When I do that and I wear the gloves, it's I feel it because if you don't wear the gloves, it really does. I feel like your skin kind of absorbs it a little bit. So where did I put the pieces that we were actually, oh, down here. The pieces that we're going to be actually working on today. We got our nice grass green. We've got, and if you're just joining us, we're going to be getting the second color on this guy right here, very fun. And we're going to also be using those greens and blues we're just going to make a fun pendant for the etsy store because because and we will get started on this guy next but not today not today i'm afraid so you can live over there buddy and let's zoom in and i've got a lot of colors already to go but let's just I know we're going to need to wash some of this obviously and this is going to be all those shades of citron green and then really pretty shades of the lighter it's going to be basically a springtime not this a springtime sonata swirl pendant that's oh that's what I got I remember I got a call that's what I need to name it springtime sonata swirl pendant uh, i'm gonna even write that down because it's so good I'm trying to come up i'm trying to be more creative with my etsy store spring time sonata swirl pendant there we go super so we'll start by making sure we have all the colors we need for this guy here and let's see, because I was just, I was running low on a lot of the color. So I'm gonna pull all the colors. Here's chartreuse chrome. We definitely need a little bit of that. Yeah, here's what I had left. This is how I, low I got with the N42, but we can reuse that cup. That will be good. The elf green, we got plenty of there. Dark green, 47L of the L variety. Here we go, we got that. I've just been using using the hell out of these colors. And finally, 934 Chartreuse Chrome. There we go, although I have 737 Citrus Chartreuse. Good enough, good enough. And then, oh yeah, we have to do our color. Remember, we're gonna do a roll, you know, a kind of a rainbow color there. So we also need, I know we need our gold, we need, did I not write down? Oh, I think you're over here. Our shades of blue, bright green, forget me not. Well, 
it's all these colors forget me not 546 we're just going through these colors definitely a little n55 I'm just pulling um that'll do this dark blue oh this dark blue those are all of that oh, we've got our two whites for the flowers those are right there and oh also for the flowers a touch of this yellow would be nice and also a touch of this yellow would be good so that is everything except for what's going to be happening where did i put the drawing oh it's under here what's going to happen in here this kind of rainbow thing and i'm kind of i don't want to go all the way to purple i kind of want to start with a little bit more orange so we'll just see we'll see. do i have gold are these all gold yes you can see the gold look how much they stick up i think that'll be fine but let's go ahead you know what let's get all these washed and then we'll think about that rainbow thing because we'll definitely have to pull a few colors for that. So I'm going to move this over there. And I guess, oh, I'll pull down the enamel art jam. Wait, this way. Wait, uh, where is the camera? Anyway, down below the enamel art jam. Go visit it if you haven't. It's going to go away. It's cramping my workspace. So... Oh, water would be good. Water. Because we're going to do a little washing. Got some distilled. Oop. There we go. Nice, fresh water. Set that behind us. Be good. Where did we put? We've got a little bit of paper towels left over from the other day. We can make more in a moment. And here's our ones for the dirties. Let's just take a moment and we'll start with this grass green because it's fresh on my mind. I'm going to move these little guys up over here so they're not in the way. And... And also, it being sifted, it definitely cuts down on the dust. You saw how that dust just swirled up. So, and once it's been sifted, it is a lot less dusty. There we go. And I'm just going to do... I like this color. I'm going to do two little scoopfuls. And this is a good sifter. Still going to take a little while. It's, it's not super, super sifted. I could have gone like twice as much, but this is just fine. But see how cl cloudy that is? We're going to do this until it's not cloudy no more. See how it's getting definitely clearer. There we go. That looks good to me. We're going to set you up there. Now let's also grab a little bit more of this chartreuse N37. Also a delightful Nino Mia color. And I had, like, as I was thumbing through. Angie says, my contract is ending in March. I'm hoping that... We can get into the jam full time. 
I'm hoping they won't renew my contract. <laughs> well, I hope, well, if, I, if that's what you want, then that is what I'm hoping for as well. And just remember, um, it's supposed to be fun. And I don't want you to think that if you think you're not going to finish, I still think you should participate. Finishing isn't really, it's not really even about the finishing of it. It's about the getting started of it. So, and I'm already looking at my schedule. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do anything super fancy because I've got a lot going on between now and July 1st or June 15th when it's due. I've, I'm going to be, I've got a week enameling retreat. I'm going to be teaching in Portugal. What else? I don't know. All the other stuff. So in my mind, I'm already extending it by one month, but you know, don't hold me. Don't hold me to that because I like, I know how everyone likes to have extra time at the end. So there probably will be extra time at the end. All right. Warm green, chartreuse, and 37. A little bit of this. It's a great color. And you can see that one was more sifted, so it's a little bit less cloudy. One more. Beautiful. And then we're just going to wash these other greens real fast. They're all pretty clean. So let's get our elf. Hold on, I feel the need to rearrange the computer just a little bit. There we go. Don't want to be in this. I need to be in this perfect circle. Now that was, uh, let's get this yellow. Ooh, the sun just came out, or sort of. smidge there. Oh, let's get this dark green while we have the greens out. There we go. And get this, oh, wrong, wrong one. Just freshen up the semi-opaque. Freshen up this translucent. They tend to get a bit clumpy. That's fine. And remember, I don't care about the cloudiness because we want those to be cloudy. Let's grab just a touch of this yellow. That'll be enough. Now let's get to the blues and then we will get started. Ooh, 546. Let's wash just a little bit of that because we're going to be using a lot of it. Warm blue. 546 blue lump. We're just going to God, put the rest of it in there. Save this. I'll put this with the lump so when I crush it up again.
one more. Just perfect. L65, beautiful ultramarine. One is good for you. I know, oh, where's N? We need to find N20. We'll find you in a second. That. And then finally, I might grab a touch of this forget-me-not if we have it. Warm blue. I am not going to... Let me just go look in the other drawer real fast. I'm not going to grind any enamels. We'll just use it if, if we can. I'm not in the mood to grind today. So... Ooh, peacock blue. Hello. What did I call it? Uh, aqua. Warms and blues. Uh -huh. There's the finds. Oh, aqua. All right, well, we'll just... We'll have to grind some up later. Let me just double check that it's not in the cool blue, cool blue drawer. It is not. All right. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. Boom. It was with the cool blue. See, is that cool? Yes, it's a cool blue. It's a warmish cool blue. So we'll just, oh, this is the 80 mesh. Do I care? No. We'll see. Probably should have done it in a separate thing. I've been experimenting, sift, you know, when I'm grinding these by hand, sifting them into different meshes to see what I like. Um, We'll see if we like this 80 mesh. It's probably pretty big. I could see that they were much larger bits. And I think it'll be fine. There we go. Now, look at, get rid of the garbage water. Got that. And now we are ready to start enameling. We've got our guy. I'm going to pull, take a moment and pull our microscope over. Hello, Meji. How are you today? Get you over here. Zoom in a little bit. There we go. Let's see if you're in the way. And then turn on the microscope. Where are you? There you are. Nothing's in the microscope. Hold on. That's because I need to. Here's what I'm looking at. Is that, oh, perfect. I just, you cannot go wrong with Gorilla Tape. That microscope hasn't budged. So that is good. I might get a little, thing to prop it up on just so it's not wobbling there we go and we've got that now we're just I feel like it's dark oh it's because I don't I'm missing a light it's way over here what are you doing over there buddy In, enjoying lighting the floor there we go a little bit up, one, two, three, let's up you, these lights, one, two, three, there we go. Now the fun can officially begin. Let me get a little bit more water. And 
as you can as you can see, we are ready for the second coat of everything. Angie from Arizona. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I love it. Angie from Arizona. You'd think I'd remember these things, but I remembered Angie. I was getting that. I was already getting that. And I'm taking this flower thing off my head because it's pinching and you just have to deal that my hair looks a mess today. So Angie from Arizona. That is, I appreciate that a thousand times. Angie from Arizona. All right, I'm just going to have a look through the microscope and everything looks good. So we're going to start with our little friend here and continue with the second coat. So let's grab a, let's get a decent, did I save? No, we gotta find the good, find the good brush amongst all the crappy ones. Deep, deep, deep. Actually, let's see. Is it this one? There we are, it's that one. Let's just double check. Yep, that's it. And we do need the black as well. And 93, you are over here for his little eyeball right there. Freshen you up real fast. See, there's a hair in there, perfect. Go away, little hair. And we'll start with the eyeball. So, that's honestly, I think, Actually, I don't even know. I think I'm Sandra the Enameler, but I always forget when I make things and I don't use my name, I can never remember. They're like, what is your username? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. If it's not Sandra McEwen, let's just change it. All right, I'm gonna just pinch you a little bit. There we go. All right, there's nothing over here for me to hit. And we're just going to start with the eyeball. Oh, well, maybe this is not a great brush. We'll find out. Oh, are the eyeball? Yeah, the eyeball's right there. And let me see if I like this brush. Getting a little frayed. I think this was the perfect brush, but oh, they just, they're like summer children. They just don't last. Oh, I guess I don't know what summer children. <laughs> summer romance, I guess, is the word. There we go. We've got our little eyeball. We don't need you anymore, black. So now we're just going to basically do another coat. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Let me pinch out. Zoom in just a little bit. There we go. Just to give you something more to look at in the main viewing area. And we're going to just continue. We'll start with our, in fact, I'm gonna pull these guys out from obscurity. Oh, that should be enough. Start with our citron. Just your little nose. Feels, there we go, that feels a little bit more stable. A little bit. That. And then a little of our brand new, oh wait, where's our N42? There we are. And 42. It's weird, like I don't normally wait so long to between the first and the second color, so my memory is not. 
to remember what I was doing, what my intentions were. There's that. Just get you in there. There we go. This looks good. I don't necessarily want to go much darker with any of these greens, so I'm probably not going to be using any of this L47. I'm probably going to keep it to the N42 as the darkest. But that doesn't mean... What does that mean? Keeping it a little bit because we've got the base color laid down. So I'm really just picking out the highlights and the low lights. That'll be good. And then your little belly. water in there. Just there we go. And the second coat always is so exciting. Let's see if we can squeeze you into this little, little water. We'll pull those colors in. That's good. Good. Do I want to go a little darker? Oops, sorry about. Oh, that's the camera. I am going to do one little bit of the darkness. Punch it up. So much water. Just this one I want a little darker. Also a little darker. 
right in there. Don't hate that. Just a little bit of this. Let's get that. Let's get some. Oh, um, we do need to find our very pale gold, which is literally right here. But it does need a quick little mini wash. There we go. So we've got a little bit of the gold. Let's grab the dark gold and scooch you over honestly do I want yellow instead going into our citron. I do want to bump up this little shadow here. little bit of that. Just a hair. Just to add some interest over there. Oops. Oh, it's one o'clock. Boy, time really flies. Not sure if there's any room just behind this. Let's see if we can jam any enamel in there. That's fine. That's good. Just a little bit of orange. There we go. I think 
That's nice. All right, we'll get you later. Oh, we got your little arm. I knew there was a, a bit we were missing. His little arm here. Pro, not his proboscis. Whatever. Armiscus. Just going to put the lighter color here. There we go. Beautiful. Now we are not totally done with these greens because we got to get these flowers, but I'm going to do the background next get you guys out of the way for now let's pull some of our background colors in to play over here over there everywhere what are we missing i feel like we're missing something let's have a look let me look yeah i do you know i saw I do want to switch to a little bit of that Peacock N62. I saw it in the drawer and I wanted it. I saw it in the other drawer and I wanted it. Hold on. So many drawers. So many drawers. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wash just a little bit of this. It'll take the work of a moment. Moment. I don't know why I'm momenting everything. Let me grab a, it's all lids. There we go, they're all buried. Here we go. Let's grab a little cup right there. L62. This is the color that is almost entirely unavailable these days. Peacock, peacock blue. It's unfortunate because it's a lovely, lovely color. Just get a little bit. That's plenty. There's a car, this is totally unrelated. There's a car parked outside, right outside, and it's throwing off my color balance today because it is the weirdest shade. It looks like the whole world is color shifted to the red because it is almost the palest shade of pink that it's almost, it reads as white, and you're like, is that pink? Or is it just that it's a weird color thing? It's just, it's it's throwing it's throwing me for a loop. Every time I, I see it, I'm like, is that a pink car? I don't know if I'll show it to you. Let's see if you can. It's way in the distance. Let's see if we can get over there. This car right here. Easy look. It's, it's even reading as white. But it is actually a shade of pink that I have never seen on a vehicle. And not that anything matters. But just thought I'd share that with you. That seems like a custom color. Is that a color that you can just go onto the thing and be like, oh, I'll take that pale, pale, pale pink color. All right, let's just wash. Very subtle statement. There we go. I just get this peacock washed. I love having this picture window. It's like having like it's giant. There's dramas that unfold in front of my eyes, and 
the way the light is, it's harder for them to look in. Like they don't see me all the way back here. Like I see people walk by and stare in, but they never see me sitting back here lurking like a little Harry Potter goblin. There we go. I think that's good. Beautiful. Now that's going to be, that's going to replace this color, which I feel is just a little too greeny, green, not grainy, green, greeny. And yes, so we're going to do N55. Baby, it's not. No, no, it's definitely, and the sun is shining on it now. It's even blushier than, I don't, it's weird because I like a nice blushy pink and I love Bebe, but it is not. It is, it's more, it's definitely an opaque. It doesn't have the luminous, luminescence of the baby. So we're gonna just start in the middle here. I'm just, there's no, let's see if we move, make sure you can see what I'm working on. There we go. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Oops. There we go. A little bit more interest. I'm going to do this middle portion first and then I'll do these outer rims just because of the wall, you know, keeping things wet is good. And I am going to do, I'm trying to warm up this, I felt like it was going a little too green so I'm just switching up to slightly less green colors. Just a little color correction on my end. That's good. Oh, and we should get them. What colors are here too? Oh, do we have blues? What are we doing? That and that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll keep. I know I'm trying to figure out. I want to grab. I'm going to grab N70. I know I've got it washed. I'll be right back. Oh, it says Mary Kay on it. Ah. <laughs> uh, L70 is a good color. Yes, the car has a logo and it is indeed Mary Kay. So I guess that makes, you know, mystery solved, mystery solved. We're gonna do a little bit of this L70. I guess she's pretty good at selling if she's got the, the pink car. I always thought the pink car was kind of the, you know, the thing you hear about, but apparently it is true. There we go, a little bit of this really pretty color. There we go. because I want to keep the richness here. I want to um, amp the richness, but not the darkness, so. That's good.
skin. That seems good. I know that's going to be this color right here. While I have you, I might as well throw you in there. Now let's get our little darker colors, which remember we've switched to the peacock. I think that's actually fine. Now we're going to get our dark. You know what? This brush is is done. It's too frayed. Let's get a new one. Do we want to try a brand new brush? Should we crack open a virgin brush? Or will that be too frustrating? Let's find out. Let's find out. Give you a little bit. Open you up a little bit. Especially to get into these little tiny crevasses. See how you are. The problem, there we go. Oh, nice. Maybe you'll be. Let's see. Oh, I'm on board already with this new brush. That's good. That's good. We definitely need some water. There we go, big drop. Now we just need some 
little dots and the interior will be done. I'm going to use a little bit. Actually, this I should I shouldn't talk too soon. These new brushes are really good for actually I don't want that color. I want the 546. Yeah, there's the 546. see a little bit. I want a little forget-me-not. I forgot. I forgot to put the forget-me-not right there. All right, that that finishes this little medallion. Now I'm going to do the background areas in these. The blue background, this should go pretty fast. And then we'll get to the flowers and there we go. So we'll just go in here, start with that. Do we have another one of these? I'm going to, well, well, when we get there, where's the peacock? There we go. Oops, sorry about that. Ugh, so over having cameras. <laughs> there we go, there we go. It's like I need to adjust my focus a little bit. There we go. Sometimes you're like working and you're like, why can't I see anything? Why, is, why do things seem out of focus? Because it is out of focus. Got this tiny little, tiny little right here, little tiny bit of blue right there. Make sure we get some enamel color in there. Now we're going to get our little background areas here, starting with our. N55. Right in there. And you know, should I do all of these? multitasking that I can see that you can't see this this wire you can see it's lifted up it's over that's going to just get ground away I wonder if it's too late to, it's probably too late to tuck it in but I'm going to trim it 
Sometimes you don't notice these things until it's a little too late. Let's see if you can see where I am here. Let's see if I can just trim it, get the piece of silver out of there. Can it be tucked? Will it be tucked? It will not be tucked. Just push it down. There's already enough enamel. It's probably not going to go down. Damn it, I can see. What is this? It's like, what was I even doing? So, I got another one to trim. So once you start looking, you're like, oh yeah, this one's also tipped up a little bit. There's a lot, in fairness to me, there is a lot going on in this piece. There's a lot of ins and outs, as it were. Can we get you? I don't want you to end up. There we go. Let me pry that piece. See this right here? I don't know if you can see it. It's like, there we go. Did I pull up the whole thing? Did I get it? No. Nope. It's attached. Really? You know what, I'm going to grab an actual pair of pliers and yank that wire up. There we are. See that? We don't want that. And now I just have to tuck this in. It just gets irritating. It'll, it'll fold over and become a hassle later if we don't handle it now. There we go. Each swirl is important. That one was, that one disappointed its mom, which is me. All right, so I don't even know what I was doing. I was in 546 blue land. Get a little bit more on there. We've got you. I'll put a little bit there. There now. Let's see if you can see. Wait, where are we? We are over there, I think. Tucked right in there. Beautiful, yes. That's fine. That's good. That's good. Now we just need our dark. From over here, I want that. Get rid of that big, I don't want that drop to fall. I'm not ready to add more. Just a little bit of the dark. Where did we put it? Over here. 13. One, one. 
right. Good. Let's just throw you over there. Now I just want to put a couple dots. We're almost done with this blue background. We'll get to these flowers. It's already 1.30. <laughs> into trouble over there. Mm, that doesn't please me. Mm. I'm using my fingers. I don't like that's gonna make any difference. Except mess up things. Now we just have two more little areas of blue right in here and then we'll do these dumb things. Hmm. I'm going to I can definitely tell the difference between this 80 mesh because it feels like really I'm placing really extra large grains. It's not blending quite as nicely, so it's a little too large. But it's fine for the second layer. Everything will be fine. Just want a little pale, pale, pale blue in that dot because the dot's pretty dark. I guess you can do. There we go. That is all of the blue. Oh, 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 I forgot one little bit. So many little things in here. This little area. Literally, where did I put? Oh, here you are. Mm. There we go. Now we're done with the background. Now we're done with all of the blues on this piece. So we can get you out of the way. And we're going to backtrack a little bit with the greens and get these flowers done. We'll start with this little guy right here. Mine as well. There 
There we go. That's good. Of that one little dot there, a little bit of this grass. Oh, the car is gone. Our Mary Kay friend has gotten her, has left the building. I assume she was at the hair salon next door. That seems, maybe I'm, well, I mean, it's either that or where was she? I don't think she was at the slushy place. <laughs> there we go. A little bit right there. Add a big drop of water. Give it, there we go. Oh, I've got a nice yellow there too. There you are. Don't hate that. <laughs> Slushy and a haircut. <laughs> Yeah, there is a, a slushy, like a, a whole business. There's a lot of little businesses. Oh, I'm super stoked. You know what's opening? Um, there's like, this building used to be an old, um, in the 20s and 30s, it was a car repair station. So each, each little thing is the size of a car port or whatever. You'd pull the car for fixing. And, um, and the landlord's great. He's really focused on getting kind of small businesses in here. Kind of, it's not quite an incubator, but the rent is friendly to small businesses. And, you know, he's discerning as to um, who he's, you know, not that there's anything wrong with tattoo places, but Wilmington probably has a tattoo parlor for every 100 people at least. Um, so, we're getting it there's and it was an artist that's moving out and we're getting i met them they came over and said hello um his name is victor victor uh it's going to be spanish imports like meats and cheeses and olives and good luck to them because i'm going to be buying some spanish meats and cheeses and olives and they were perfectly charming and i'm super excited about them moving in and getting a nice assortment of tapas and I, I honestly wish them the best. I hope they thrive in that location because I love the idea of what they're doing. Not that slushies are not. There's tons of kids that love the slushies, so good for them. I've never actually tried one of the slushies, so I don't know. don't eat sugar so we're gonna do a little you get the yellow on in here little yellow Some of that darker stuff over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little baby yellow. Just from 
little bit of blushiness here. Oops, no, that'll do, that's fine. Now let's get our semi-opaque whites and translucent whites. Honestly, I think I can just switch to complete translucent at this point. Bit of this. A little bit of that and a dot right there. Beautiful. Oh, I need a yellow dot over there. That's why I got my, remember, our beautiful, my favorite yellow of all time. It's a bold statement, I know, but it is true. Get some of you in there, just for a vivid pop of yellow. Great. One flower down, two to go. We'll go do this guy next. I'm not sure you can see. Got a lot of green going on in here. But yes. bit of that. <laughs> His weird extra long antenna, that doesn't even make any sense. Uh, <laughs> You know when you do a design and you forget, you're like, well, that doesn't, that literally, look how long. Uh, but I kind of read it almost as part of the flower, so I don't think it really matters all that much. But I will know. He's got a freak, freakishly long. That's fine. I do want more yellow right over there. That's good enough. Fine, now let's get some of that translucent white. There we go. 
Zoop, 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 zoop. One more, one more. We're going to pull into the station right at two, having just finished this little guy up. Just, yep. bit of this. I'm like, <laughs> seeing if anyone is actually still watching. <laughs> A little bit of this. that a little bit of that let me get some of that extra pale yellow no I did not turn on the kiln yet did I Oh, that was supposed to be white. Eh, whatever. It's fine. But I am going to get that blob of yellow in there. Daffodil yellow. So pretty. After I do this flower, I'm going to stand up and turn the kiln on. I'm not sure if we together will be firing this, but it is going to need to get fired. Don't hate that. I'll just throw you on top. Perfect, perfect. Now let's turn on the kiln real fast. I need to stand up anyway. And let's go to the kiln cam just because. There we go. Yeah, if I'm spending the time to get that camera set up we're going to use it at least once at least one time there we go <clears throat> old lady bend over there we go plug you in see how we're doing hey buddy kiss you kisses yes blow you out nice and what are we setting things at do we remember I think we do remember it is 1400 770 760 yeah look how hot it is in here it's not quite time to turn the AC on but it's getting warm 14 yes 760 Celsius boom Now, let's go back to the workbench. It's humid out today, can you tell? And yeah, it's going to be, it's actually probably gorgeous out. Well, I mean, it's a little bit overcast, but I cannot complain. Now we've got to think about what's going on in our rainbow world. Rainbow world. We've got definitely we're going to start with this vivid i'm changing it up a little bit i am going to put my favorite vivid orange down here but i even might want to start with more of a yellow vivid orange and skip this purple here go keep it a little bit warmer we'll see just because we have all those little circles are made of gold so we got some options but i'm not putting down that one red just yet because i am going to wait to the next one so i'm going to go yellow pretty far in here we got plans 
pretty far in here. Although, did I? Well, it doesn't matter, honestly. One, two, three. Because I did put some in here, didn't I? I want Mikado. I want, there's so many things that I want. And Mikado Orange is one of them. I'm going to go get me some Mikado. Mikado is the best orange. It is, if you had to pick one orange in the history of oranges, Mikado. If you only get one, it's Mikado. Am I going to break into song? No. <laughs> there we go. I know it doesn't look orange, but it is orange. I'm going to make sure I don't, this is the classic mistake. One of these is bright orange, one of these is white. Don't mess up these. Don't get these confused. So I've had a student accidentally, instead of her top coat of flux, she put a top coat. It wasn't this Mikado, but it was another vivid red or orange that looked white. And there were tears and sadness. So. Hopefully that will not happen. I am... Oh yeah, I'm not going to be streaming on Friday because I am teaching one of my first one-on-one -on -one enameling workshops in my studio right here. There will be another person. It's weird to think that there's going to be another person in here, but there will be. We're gonna, I'm going to clean up. I got some cleaning to do. I got some cleaning to do. And I don't even know where she's coming from. She's going to do three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And she sent me some designs. I think she's a beginning level enamel artist. She sent me some lovely, I love it when students show up with really great and appropriate, appropriate for her skill level, but they're also really creative. Oh, I'm loving it. So very excited about starting the teaching in my studio. Is this my first one of the year already in February? Yeah, because I took, I want to say I had one. I've, no, I had one, I don't remember. It's either the first or the second one. So, and there's always, and honestly, one-on-one -on -one is kind of the way to go because we just kind of, we just have a nice play. And I'm going to do... One more, and then go to my favorite. Are we ready to bring in that coral red, the crazy coral red? Yes. Yes, we are. Here you are over here, which this one does look orange. Go figure. Go figure. Look how pretty. That's going to be that color. It's very vivid. And I think... It wasn't as good in the bracelet because it does, after a certain number, this goes a little, it gets darker and darker and darker and redder and redder. So generally about four firings is what you want with this particular shade. Oh, just drop it right on in there. Need a lid, Tom. piece of paper towel. Wick a little bit. Put that moisture out. Give it to me. There we go. Some days. There we go. That's good.
little bit more. That's good. And can you see, do I have it in the right area? So we're gonna go probably to about here with that color. I'm playing it by ear entirely. And then I'm gonna grab, did I actually, t I did turn on the kiln. Yeah, we're at 900. That and that. And don't forget if you are signed up for the Enamel Art Jam, do go ahead. I'm going to put the link to, although I'll have to, I might have to re, re up it, but do join the Discord channel. There is a text channel just for the Enamel Art Jam for you to share photos of your project. And I think the way, because some people were having trouble with the link, um, you have to create, go to discord.com, create yourself an account. It's free and then go into Discord and use the invite while you're already logged in. And that should be, that should allow you, it, you won't get like a, a link broken error or something like that. And if you can't figure out how to, if you can't get in, email me and I'll walk you through it. So this is not a ton of, there's not a ton of action right now in Discord. I think people are kind of still figuring out what what it is so we got that we're going to go from that into what do i have on the picture oh where did our picture go did it fall on the floor oh it's over here let's have a look yeah we want to go into a hot pink which would be i know exactly what hot pink we want so let's let me go grab a hot pink and that dark fuchsia color. But do, I mean, I'm not sure if that link is actually any good anymore because I think they do expire. I should probably look into that. Pink. Oh, Aoki, yes, yes, yes. Ooh, wine, yes. Lump, lump magenta, yes. Lump that, that's good. L95, yes, there we go. Do I want L95? No. Well, L96, that's fine. Go. We got a nice assortment of magentas going into purpley, purpley colors. And I'm going to take the Discord thing down because now I'm thinking it's probably not the thing. But I'll put up enamel art jam just because I know you all have signed up. So we're going to start with Aoki. That, that's all it needs to be. It's a beautiful vivid magenta. No, it doesn't look like it, but it will be. Beautiful magenta. There we go. five dots of and we'll do a little bit of you know blending between these particular colors in the next one I'm just getting the color in there there we go now going into wine yes this color yeah, and I didn't pull any swatches or anything. I'm just, I'm eyeballing it. I know what these look like. So, 
get this magenta down just in time for the kiln to come up to temperature. Over here, oops. some water in there. We are in the home stretch of this. And I'm not worried about it getting, you know, that's a black background. All right, so that's kind of a nice reddish color. And then we'll end up purple, this color. That's a lot of it. I don't know why I washed so much of this color. There's Clicky. That's good. Let me just do this. go. Now I'm just going to blot. Let's see if I can just carefully. That's good. Now we're going to do let this dry for a moment. I'm going to go put this. There we go. Looks ready to go. I'm going to let it dry for just a minute and then we'll fire it and then we'll be done for the day. So I'm going to go put this on a trivet under the lamp. Big ass trivet. That one looks good. There we go. And yeah, so there we go. I think I think we're done for the day. Yeah, we're probably not going to get to that other little guy because we just, everything takes so much time. Lulu, you subscribed to tier one for three months. Thank you. Thank you. Three month anniversary, has it been three months? Wow, it has been. I'm going right over to selfie cam because I think we're finished for the day. Sorry, we're ending a little early. We're just doing two hours today. And again, I'm not going to be here on this coming Friday because I am, I've got a student coming in and so she's going to get all of my time for three solid days. And um, so if you haven't, so I'll be back on Tuesday, a week from today. And if you have not checked out the enamel art jam, God, look at what's going on, like literally, um, do that, go to the enamel art jam and sign up for that. And then also, don't forget to, if you really want to support me, sign up and subscribe to my Vimeo channel. My videos are always available. So again, I will, I'm going to fire this in a bit. I'll post a photo of it and we will, I promise on Tuesday, I know I, I'm the queen of making promises that don't happen, but they happen eventually. Uh, we will, oh, I guess I don't have this on, we'll get this little guy, we'll work on this guy on Tuesday, our little mouse friend 
I promise. And we'll get that done. So, yeah. Thank, thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of your week. And I hope the spring weather, we're getting the spring weather right now. So I hope you guys all get it too. And we'll eventually. And have a great weekend, everybody. Take care.